Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're gonna be sharing with you some of the things that we've learned as we've gotten started in making some of our own lures and jigs. If you've been following along, you know that we've recently started tying some jigs for crappies. We also enjoy trout fishing as well. So just taking that next step and going ahead and getting started with, with tying your own jigs was the next logical thing in my mind. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're also gonna be sharing with you a couple of channels that I think you may be interested in as well. So let's get to the video. Good morning and thanks again for tuning in to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Dale. Recently, when I decided I wanted to get into tying my own flies and jigs, I reached out to a buddy of mine. Me and him went through the academy together and then we also retired on the same date a couple of years ago. And I, he had gotten started into tying his own jigs and, and flies probably two years before we retired. So I reached out and I was like, hey Ty, I'm looking at getting into doing some some jig making and I'm curious what kind of vice you would suggest. So he basically pointed us to the just the most generic vice that you can buy on Amazon. And I want to say this kit, you can buy just the vice alone and I'll show you pictures of this stuff guys. You can buy the vice alone for around 40 bucks and then if you want they got a little kit for like 60 or 70 bucks. It's got just about all the tools that you would need. But aside from that, part of what spurred this whole interest in making my own crappie jigs in particular is, number one, I love to bass fish, but I also love to eat fish. So crappie fishing and catfishing is always going to be near and dear to my heart. Some of the problems that we have is some of our lakes that we have that I can get to within 30 minutes from the house, there's no bait store anywhere near those. So taking minnows is out of the question. I looked into buying one of the minnow buckets and one of the aerator minnow buckets to where maybe I could go make a run the night before and buy a couple of dozen minnows. That minnow bucket alone was almost $100. And I thought, you know what guys, for 100 bucks I can buy my own jigs. After buying a handful of jigs, I realized, man, that money went quick. So I decided, hey, the next best thing would be, let's just start making our own jigs. So that's what brought us about making the jigs. We've already started making lures and the jigs just seem like the next step. We've already got a lot of the tools that you would need, but just getting started, it seemed like there was too many options out there. So he just steered us to the cheapest one that they have on the, on the market. So that's what we did. We purchased that. I've been tying I've been tying crappie jigs now for a couple of weeks and I'm really, really enjoying it. Not only is it fun to catch something, and I mean it's absolutely fun to catch a, a fish with a lure that you've made, but there's also something therapeutic about sitting down and just doing the process and enjoying the process. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the kit that we bought, and then I'm also going to show you a couple of other options that we had, and that's looking at eBay. Now, while we're going through this, I'll be showing you in the background. These are two different kits that I purchased from eBay. One of them I feel like I got a really, really good deal on. And, and both of these kits, I, I don't think my highest bid was more than 30 bucks. But in my mind, my target was to make sure that you was going to get at least $40 worth of stuff, if not $60 or $70, for that $30 mark. And, and I don't know on these how the, how the auctions even came about. It could be... It could be somebody that just goes around and hits estate sales or whatever else. I don't really know, and I don't have the backstory on any of this stuff. But I, what I do want to show you is the very first kit, and we're going to be looking at it right now. You're going to see this man at some point. This was something that he really took a lot of pride in because he's actually got everything very organized in this little kit that he had. You can tell he had been using the stuff, he enjoyed it, and he enjoyed the process as well. And then the next up is probably, again, some older man who's passed away and his kids have sold his stuff off. And he's, he's still got stuff that's brand new in the packages, guys. And these packages are probably as old as I am. So it just kind of, while I was going through the stuff that I purchased from eBay and I thought, you know, I really, really got a good deal. And I was happy and excited about that. But at the same time, I got to thinking, this was something that somebody truly cherished and enjoyed. And it just reiterates, guys were promised a lot of things in the Bible, but we're not promised tomorrow. And I think the best we can do is try to do the best we can today 
and it just kind of makes my heart happy knowing that in the end this man cherished his stuff i'm going to use his tools that he had both of these gentlemen i'm sure it was probably two different gentlemen and i don't want to be stereotype yes of course it could have been a lady there's lots of lady fishermen out there and i and i truly hope that one of them was a lady but either way these people let's just say it like that um they cherished what they had and i think it's kind of fun that i've got some of these tools and guys i promise you they're antiques they're actually really cool and i'm looking forward to making some more lures and stuff with them as well that and i'm i'm telling you guys if you go around and you look on ebay you can find some really good deals. There's going to be some, probably some heartfelt moments as you go through the boxes and open them up yourself and think about who may have actually had their hands on this stuff. And you can tell the care and love and joy that went into some of these things that they've kept protected for so many years. And it just kind of makes it fun. And again, guys, if you're new to the channel, I would also like to encourage you to think about subscribing. We've started a new We've started a new upload every Tuesday. We're gonna be doing what we call Tackle Shop Tuesday. We're gonna be diligently out here trying to figure out how to tie new flies. Again, I'm not a tie flying expert yet, but I will be. And again, guys, that's all a mindset. I'm gonna probably show you some stuff that you may not wanna do at all, and we're gonna learn from my mistakes. And the fun thing about YouTube is we can all learn together. So if I'm doing something that's kind of messed up, guys, put a comment down below and say, hey, that's not really how you're supposed to do that. You need to do this, this, and this. And guys, let's just make this a fun deal. Tackle Shop Tuesday, we can all learn together. Now then, that brings me up to the next deal, back to the minnows. After I decided not to buy that $80 minnow bucket, I ran across one of my buddy's channels. His channel is Good Outdoors. And I'll put a link down below and you can go check this out. But he actually made, using an ice chest and, and the aerator for like a minnow bucket or whatever, made his own live bait slash live well type deal that he could take in his kayak. I think you guys would enjoy his channel. I'll put a link down below. And then secondary to that, my other buddy, Bucktails Outdoors. He's injured himself recently playing ball, playing fetch with his pup. And it injured himself bad enough he had to have surgery. So he too is gonna to be making some videos on things you could do if you find yourself stuck in the house, whether it be an injury or the dead of winter or the heat of summer like we've got going on down in the south right now. Both of these channels I think are great channels. They're both great people. And, and guys, if you get time, go check out their channel. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, it's just a short video introducing everybody to our Tackle Shop Tuesdays. Again, may God bless you and your family. And let's get outside and make something happen.